Hey everyone, it's Anne here from English Valley Cafe. Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to share with you just a tiny small piece of my life. I'm going to talk about a night in my life, a typical night in my life. Uh, so usually on the weekdays, um, I go through this routine with nothing interesting or fun. Um, I have work and then uh, after work, um, I'll do some exercise, either go for a walk um, or do some stretches, do yoga or meditation, and I'll make dinner. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about what I did for dinner, what I made the other night. And um, as I share this uh, tiny piece of my life with you, I will also go over some common uh, phrases, phrasal verbs, um, idioms that I think are really useful that you will hear and you can use in everyday conversation. So let's get into this video. Do you ever run out of cooking ideas and when it's time to eat, you're just thinking, hmm, what should I eat today? It happens to me quite often. And the other night, I opened up my fridge and I was looking to see what I can cook. And I really didn't get any cooking inspiration. Um, and so I just took out whatever I had in the fridge and I cooked almost a little bit of everything. This is what dinner turned out to be. I had sweet potato, lamb slices, and some vegetables, cauliflower, and broccoli. Um, so what I did was I uh, cut up the sweet potatoes and I put them into the air fryer. And then I did a little uh, braised uh, lamb slices with some kimchi. And then um, I steamed the cauliflower and the broccoli. And then I just added some harissa. It's like this Moroccan uh, pepper sauce with tahini, which is like a sesame paste kind of uh, sauce. And I mix it together. Um, so here um, I share this on Instagram and I said, somehow food tastes better when I don't know what to cook. And I just throw random things together. Go figure. Um, so yeah, it ended up actually turning out to be quite a good dinner. Um, the taste was awesome. It was on point. Go figure. This is an expression that you might hear in a conversation sometimes. Uh, go figure just means something that is strange and it's just difficult to understand, to make sense of. Uh, so, you know, when I didn't know what to cook, um, I kind of mix everything together and it actually turned out pretty good. So it's like, hey, you know, what do you know? Go figure. Uh, other examples here, he's always late to class. And the one time he's early, the class is canceled. Go figure. Or that pool is always dirty, but people still go there to swim. Go figure. When I share the photo with the caption, uh, some people responded and they were saying that they can relate. Um, and one expression that is good to learn when you can relate to someone's experience, um, you can say, I feel you, I feel you. Or people might say, I feel you, I feel you. And that just means that you understand, you can relate. Uh, so um, in my response, I said, I guess a lot of people can relate and we have to rack our brains for cooking ideas. To rack our brain is an idiom that we use to express when we have to think really hard to remember something or to try very hard to understand something in order to solve a problem. So for example, you can say, I have to rack my brain for cooking inspiration. Do you ever run out of cooking ideas? What do you do when you don't know what to eat? Share with me in the comments, or if you have a good recipe that you like to share, I love to hear from you. 
please let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. I hope you got some new words out of this lesson. And that's it. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video.